I love being active, but I had never been on an actual active vacation before my experience with United States Tour Operators Association member VBT Bicycling and Walking Vacations in Croatia. There's no better way to take in this country's breathtaking landscape than by being outside as much as possible. So that's exactly what I did. Walking, hiking, boating, and biking. Whether I was biking through the olive-scented countryside of Istria, climbing hills in Split, or cruising the sunny, sea-salted mountain roads of the Croatian islands with USTOA member VBT, the most experiential way to take in this country is by getting out there and being active. Istria is in the northwestern region of Croatia, and these rolling green hills dappled with mountaintop towns is just a postcard of beauty. With a network of easy-to-navigate mountain biking trails, we biked from town to town, stopping to enjoy the fruits of this plentiful and rich region. Truffles for breakfast, a lunch with a view in Motivan, handmade pasta dinners at a farm in agritourism, we had earned our bites and sips and could experience the land through sight, sound, feel, and taste. To see Split in all of its glory, hike up to the top of Marion Hill. From up here, you can take in the panoramic views of the mountains, of the harbor, and the city center. It seems to be a daily ritual for the locals of Split to get outside and take in the impossibly pink sunset along the water. To continue the active streak, it was off to the islands with our VBT bike group, ready to get to know the islands of Brach and Havar with every push of the pedal. I'm very excited to get out there, hit the hills, and go see some beautiful towns on the island of Brach. From the moment we met our local Croatian leaders, I knew that this trip was going to be fun. Easygoing, comedic, yet a wealth of knowledge on everything Croatia, Marco and Lada challenged us, took care of us, and taught us so much about the country that we were exploring. There's something about the speed of biking that is just perfect for really absorbing where you are. There's a connection with the landscape that you just can't get from driving. Whether you're biking uphill or down, my mind was so focused on the task at hand and where I was that I was really able to engage with my surroundings and with the moment. And trust me, when you get to your destination, a marvelous Croatian town that promises a lunch awaiting you, there can't be a more beautiful sight. Being on a bike also lets us stop and go as you please. If you want to jump off and grab a gelato or pick a flower, or maybe even jump in the ocean, you can. Our VBT group had a map and a schedule and as long as we met the group at designated times, we could go at our own pace. Some days I felt like pushing it and challenging myself to grind up the big hills, and other days I took it easy and just coasted along, soaking up the sunshine. And I don't know how they do it, but just when you need it, the leader set out a beautiful little spread so that you can stop, have a snack, get rehydrated, right before you go up for a big climb. They had healthy snacks of fruit, nuts, and granola, and these little pick-me-ups made all the difference. Whatever you needed to make your ride better, the VBT van was always right around the corner. Some of my favorite stops were the beaches, taking a few moments to exhale, get our feet wet, and drink in the glittering Adriatic Sea. And one beach that you just can't miss is Zlatni Rock. I thought we couldn't top the first incredible days of biking on Brach, but as we took our private ferry to the next island, I was delighted to find Havar was equally as stunning. All this sunshine, activity, and drop-dead gorgeous scenery gave me all the motivation that I needed to tackle a new island by bike. And the small seaside towns on Havar were picture perfect. If you're tired or you're ready to call it a day or you just need a little help up that last uphill, call the van and you can hitch a ride. Croatia is filled with so much history and charming detail that I could have missed it all if I didn't get a chance to slow down, get out of a car and be outside. 
Though brief, my time in Istria, in Split, and biking with USTOA member VBT is so alive and vivid in my memory, I know that my experience in Croatia will not soon be forgotten.